my name is Mark Fleming and I am a dentist and a transition consultant with Paragon. Today I'll be talking about what is practice transition and what are the different ways to transition a dental practice. The definition of transition is a movement or change from one position or stage to another. Practice transition is simply the change from one practice situation to another. Let's begin by saying that a practice transition is not always about retirement. In fact, most dental practice transitions have nothing to do with retirement. Let's look at a few common practice transitions. A change from being a recent dental school graduate to an associate in a practice is a practice transition. A change from being an associate to an owner or co-owner of a practice is a practice transition. A change from a solo doctor practice to a multiple doctor practice is a practice transition. And of course, a change from practice owner to retired dentist is also a practice transition. Dentists of all ages and at all stages of their career encounter practice transition options and opportunities. Now, let's look at some of the common factors that cause a dentist to consider a change in their practice. The practice is no longer growing the schedule is not full, or is busier than desired. They are tired of practicing alone, burned out, or bored. They are sick of administrative duties or need more personal time. The practice is not large enough, they need more patients or income, or are simply just stressed out. They are being forced to accept lower fees by insurance companies. Their income is in decline and overhead is increasing. They no longer like dentistry. They desire to be a teacher or mentor. Or they are simply just not happy. These are just a few of the many factors that could create the need for a change in a dental practice environment. Now let's exam examine a few of the more common practice transition options available to practice owners. First is the walkaway sale. Sell today and leave the practice tomorrow. Normally, this seller is either retiring or relocating. Unfortunately, when a seller waits until retirement to sell, often the practice production has declined significantly, so the market value has also declined. Next is the pre-sale. Sell today, but remain with the practice as the purchaser's associate for a period of time. There is no set time period for the stay. Typically, it is five years or less, but Paragon has sellers who sold 15 years ago and are still working. Next are practice mergers. A practice merger occurs when, the, when an existing practice owner acquires the seller's practice and merges the two practices together to become one practice in one location. The move can be either to the seller's or the buyer's location. Merger buyers are experienced and often have an easier time obtaining full financing. The sale can be structured as a walkaway or a pre-sale. Next are practice consolidations. A consolidation occurs when two or more practice owners combine or consolidate their practices into a single multi-owner group practice. Unlike in a merger, the practice owners become equal co-owners of the larger practice. Increases in doctor income occur due to overhead savings as well as internal growth because one doctor provides services that the other doctor has been referring out of the practice. Another type of transition is the co-ownership program or co-app. A co-app is when a doctor sells an equal ownership interest in the practice. The sale is immediate and the two doctors continue to grow the practice together. Owner income is a combination of provider income based on individual production of the doctor and profit distribution based on equal ownership. The original practice must be operating as either a corporation or limited liability company for owner liability reasons and also for long-term capital gain advantages for the seller. Next is the Progressive Ownership Program or POP. A POP is a combination associate slash co-ownership plan. The new co-owner comes into the practice as an associate with a formal contract that leads to equal practice ownership. 
The buy-ins are in stages based on the production level of the associate versus the production level of the practice owner. It's similar to co-op, but structured for a slower pace. Next is ownership redemption. This occurs when one owner of a multi-owner practice desires to sell his or her ownership interest. This transaction can either be structured as a sale to the other owners of the practice or to a new owner. Last are deferred transitions. Basically, any of the above transitions can be structured with contractual delays. Your Paragon consultant will explain. As you can see, there are numerous transition options available to satisfy the needs and goals of dentists in every stage of their career. Paragon is very experienced in assisting dentists in satisfying those needs and goals. Please check out our other videos that cover these options in more detail or contact the Paragon Transition Consultant in your area to learn more. Paragon Dental Practice Transitions is a national network of many individuals who play a significant role in each transition. Dentists, attorneys, accountants, and healthcare administrators. We have consultants like myself in your local area ready to help you with your practice search. Contact Paragon today and schedule your complimentary consultation. No obligation, just an extremely worthwhile education. For more information, visit our website at www.paragon.us.com or contact us by email at info at paragon.us.com or toll free at 866-898-1867.